Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and in this video I'm going to talk about portable TV sets. Before I get into this video, if you are seeing me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As many of you probably already know, portable TV sets used to be very popular back before the digital transition. I remember seeing them in nearly every retailer. You'd see them at Kmart, Walmart, Sears, Radio Shack, if anybody remembers them. In fact, the first TV set I ever owned was a portable 5-inch black and white TV set. It was $20 at Ames and it came with a uh, AC adapter, but the AC adapter broke. So I remember having to go to Dollar Tree and ask my mom to take me there so I could buy 10 D-sized batteries to power this thing for about two hours until the batteries completely drained. What happened to portable TV sets and can you still order them today? Well, you can. First, I'm going to talk about what exactly happened to portable TV sets. I did mention the digital transition of 2009, and it does have a lot to do with that. The digital transition of 2009 was when the FCC mandated that nearly all TV stations in the United States convert to a digital signal and turn off their old analog signals. It essentially made older TV sets require a converter box in order to continue watching your local TV station. But if you have a portable TV set that runs on batteries and converter boxes usually run on AC power, it kind of defeats the purpose of a battery powered TV set. So the digital transition happens and manufacturers can easily start making portable digital TV sets. But not many did, mainly due to the fact that digital signals are a lot harder to pick up than the analog signals were. Back in the analog days, if you had a slightly fuzzy signal, you could still watch the program. But in the digital era, if you have a low signal or if you have multipath interference, instead of getting ghosting and static, you get something like this. I can remember portable TV sets made by Sony, Panasonic, Sharp, I don't remember all of the brands, but essentially they all said, nope, we're not interested in portable TVs, we're going to focus on consumer home models. The only company that focused on portable TV sets for a little bit right after the digital transition was RCA. I do remember them selling some portable TV sets in a store known as Radio Shack. I think it's been about two or three years since Radio Shack officially shut its doors and the only ones that are left open are small franchise stores. But even before two or three years ago, Radio Shack did have its share of struggles and closed down many stores across the United States before officially shutting down nearly all of their stores. So essentially, the one store that portable TV sets were available in went out of business. Can you still buy them today? This brings us to the modern era, where a lot of shopping is done online on sites such as Amazon and eBay. Can you find a portable TV set that has a digital tuner on there that runs on batteries today on eBay or Amazon? You can. If you do a simple search for portable TV on Amazon, you will find several models that can be purchased in 7, 10, and 12 inch sizes. Most of them do operate on rechargeable batteries. I've owned this model for about two years, the Milanic 7-inch portable TV, but it's the same exact model as, get this, Tyler 7-inch portable TV. It just has a different brand on the front of it, and both of them run about $60. This TV has gone through a lot over the last two years, mainly because I've used it to set up TV antennas on the roof. It works really great as a guide to determine the best location to put an antenna, rather than just putting the antenna in a random spot, pointing it, and hoping for the best. This TV set does work, obviously, as a great standalone TV, and I do have an in-depth review on it. I attached a video in the description of this video to my review on this TV set. In addition to portable TV sets on Amazon, you can also find dongle adapters to turn certain Android smartphones into a TV tuner if they have a micro USB or USB-C port. I also have reviews of these dongles attached in the description of my video. I think many of you probably have not seen them yet. 
Both the Milanic 7-inch portable TV and the two dongles I have reviewed previously on my YouTube channel. I guarantee most of you probably have not seen the videos. This is why I suggest at some point, if you have the time, just go through my channel and see what videos I've posted in the past, because I've been posting for about a year and a half now. I feel many of you out there probably just wait for me to post new videos and don't think to search on my channel for older videos, but you may find some really good information on these videos that I posted in the past. So what I got about portable TV sets is that they are here, but there's just no marketing of them. I think very few people know that you can get a battery powered TV set for 60 bucks, or that if you have an Android smartphone, you spend 40 bucks and get a little dongle that turns your cell phone into a digital TV tuner. I think portable TV sets are great for almost everyone to have. They're great to bring along to tailgates, they're great for camping, great for watching TV in the yard. I think one of my subscribers has a battery powered TV set. Uh, he sent me some pictures of him watching it out on his back porch. They're also great for emergencies. If you have severe weather and you lose power, you can still use a portable TV set to access and watch all of your local channels. And especially if cell phone reception goes out. A lot of you remember Hurricane Katrina. During Hurricane Katrina, a lot of cell phone towers were blown out and people could not call or get updates on what was going on. But I had a portable TV set and I was able to watch local news and see exactly what was going on. Unlike everyone else that just kind of grabbed their cell phone was just like, okay, I think I can get a bar. Uh, oh, well, this thing doesn't work as well as I thought it did. So yeah, if you're in the market for a portable TV set, I think they are pretty cool to have. Follow the links in the description of my video. Now, with the launch of ATSC 3.0, I'm thinking that we may see more and more portable TVs come on the market in the coming years. It's not necessarily a guarantee. I do try to state that the launch of ATSC 3.0 is not government mandated. So there is a chance that it may not take off that some broadcasters are like, oh no, I don't want a good over the air signal because I get a lot of money through cable and satellite retransmission fees. We're not interested. And then the standard may just become a flop like the older ATSC MH and ATSC 2.0 standards that never really took off. I'm thinking that ATSC 3.0 will most likely Likely take off, but there still is a small chance that it may not take off. So this video isn't about ATSC 3.0, but I did want to tie in portable TV sets with ATSC 3.0 because ATSC 3.0 is a lot better with reception and would probably enable a lot better reception for portable TV sets on the go. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. Definitely consider a portable TV set. I think they're pretty cool to have, and as I said, you come in handy in a lot of situations, and especially if you are setting up an antenna for the first time. I always recommend using some kind of TV tuner when you are setting up an outdoor antenna for the first time. You don't wanna just mount the antenna in a random spot, point it, and hope for the best, go downstairs, run a scan, realize I'm missing NBC, go up on the roof again, move it a little bit, run another rescan, and then you're missing ABC. It's very good to use a portable TV set when setting up an outdoor antenna for, for, for the first time, so that way you can see how moving the antenna affects your reception. Rather than moving it, run a rescan, moving it again, run a rescan. That, that's just madness. You don't want to do that. Definitely consider a portable TV set. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. Thanks again for watching everyone and have an awesome day.